All right. Normally we wait longer, but we have some squad here. Hello, Freedom. Hello, Kesa. I see either you've changed accounts or you've changed your name. Either way, hello. Hello, Sam. How is everybody today? I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I just know there's girls and monsters. Um, they did say content warning Chapter one. for... Lynetta, my really scary girlfriend. <laughs> uh, suicide and self-harm. So, I don't know when that comes up, how it comes up, but just a warning for everybody. Hello. Okay, I was like, what am I supposed to be clicking? Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming. Their awakening under aligned stars heralds the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of the position. This is this is freaking me out. <laughs> uh this is cool though. Oh, I don't I don't know what that is. Uh the knife though. Dagger. I better wash my face to calm down. A year ago I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me. They said that and I didn't listen. <laughs> Lynetta, I think. Ever since I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once there's something I have to do once I see it again. Was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. We had the name starts with D, I guess. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing, but as of today, hello cleric, how are you? Today we are seducing monster ladies, I think. I don't know. <laughs> as of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon. <laughs> Great. An ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Finally, I'll... It's pink. <laughs> Tired but good. Well, yeah, that makes sense. You were streaming pretty fucking early. If I wasn't at work, I was gonna chime in. I'm, I'm alright. I'm alright. Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be, like, brown and bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something. But this looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. Gammed again. With how much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Are there no fucking, like, photo listings? <laughs> Great. No way I'm getting my money back either. The scammer is probably long gone, too. Damn it, I need a new hobby. Seriously. What a, strange, what a strange scam, though. You'd think at least they'd try to go for an authentic look. Do they really think nobody would notice their Book of the Dead is Malibu pink? Wait, is this symbol on the front embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look gilt and gold, too. And this, wait, why'd they make a knockoff out of such high-quality materials? Oh. My computer. That's probably just the delivery confirmation message. Evelyn, hello. Thank you for the follow. How'd you find the stream? <laughs> 100% real. Necronomicon. Not clickbait, not a scam. Gone sexual? Delayed. Arriving tomorrow. Hmm. What the? My order was delayed? It won't be delivered until tomorrow? Then... What the hell is this book supposed to be? Did it get delivered to me by an accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, this inscription at the bottom. It's Rylian. That's probably not how you say that. The unholy language of the Eldritch Gods. I got five hours of FNAF in and probably will hit ten by the end of the night. Damn. Wasn't expecting to see on when I said Twitch. Yeah, you know, normally I don't stream on Thursdays, but sometimes 
would be doing that. I get that motivation. Also, since this is like a romance game, I didn't want to play it too far off of um, Valentine's Day. What is that? Anyway, um, also the pages reek of formaldehyde, embalming fluid, in other words, it stinks of death. Why would someone so cute have such an insidious, insidious aura around it? Maybe I'll take a look inside. Objective, perform the calling ritual. <laughs> Do I remove my poster? That's me. Take the turtle, take the knife, wear the kaguya mask, light. Okay, okay. Oh no, ad break. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, alright. You can, you can calm down. Thank you. Game seems a little, a little glitchy. It's fine. Alright. Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, turn off your overhead lights. Okay. Boop. Boop. Is that it? We have any other lights? I mean, they're closed. They're not doing a well, but they're closed. Um, in the dark, light red fire candles. They are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Okay. Find and put on your ritual necklace. I do believe it is that. Alright. It doesn't say, but I'm, I assume. Um... When all is complete, chant this. Click and drag from the first letter to the end of the phrase to chant. Slowly. I feel like I'm doing it too slowly. <laughs> are closed. How do I... Do I have to wait? <laughs> ah, yes, the chanting. No light. It has to be from the door, right? Or the windows? Like, I don't know. Smooge. How do I block out the light, though? Does the overhead- let me just turn it on. No, I can't even turn it on. Hmm. I'll try it again, I guess. I don't like that it farts. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of the light. Hmm. Like, is it glitched or do I restart? Can I close my curtains out here? <laughs> Hello? Light.
light switch? Is there a light switch? Thank you. I was like assuming that I would turn them on there. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright. Again. The chanting ASMR. It's here for you. Alright. We get the lady. We've got the lady! We did it! Game over! <laughs> oh god, it actually worked. She's here. A beacon of madness is towering over me. An omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world ending. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken Laneha the Star Spawn and brought about the end of reality? Yeah, Eldritch Mommies. I think that's this whole game. I mean, we get to schmooch him. <laughs> I can't talk. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread, choking terror, my very sanity is teetering on the precipice and looking down. No, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. Perish. D Dark One, I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? I, I suppose, you know, that's not bad. That's not a bad deal. No, I want to smooch you. <laughs> eh? <W> what? <laughs> Is the volume good for you guys, by the way? Like when she's talking. I want to smooch. Don't say it again, creep. And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? <laughs> I'm mad with lust. Send me back. Huh? But you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? Well, I'll do cool. it next time. M maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. Damn, she's not used to this. I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do is... Where'd you get that book? <laughs> so interested. Huh? What? This? I found it outside my door. That moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. Like another demon. <laughs> moo? Who's that? Are they the one who left this funny looking ne Necronomicon on my doorstep? It's not a Necronomicon. It's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? God, she's cute. But what's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? So I was about to say the same thing. She went from like fuck all out of here to oh wait a minute you have my book <laughs> er well if it's not a necronomicon what is it it's a survival guide for what for dating me a survival guide for dating me oh my god fucking neds declassified up here <laughs> what really this thing mm -hmm. it's full of rituals that i like Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. <laughs> a queen. <laughs> I struck gold. All the money I had spent finally paid off. Wait, what did you just say? Protect my sanity. I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. <laughs> nice. <laughs> gold. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while. If you <laughs> Too late, sanity I'm gone. <laughs> You'll let me smooch you? If you can make it to the end, darling. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Nar, not the fucking like the jump scare, like. <laughs> Will you spare the world if I win that kiss? The end of all reality, I think. I think that's what she said. No. <laughs> you knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? 
Cleric, did you not know about this game? <laughs> I mean, I don't fully know what I'm going into. I just... Kesa bought it for me because it was on my wish list. Thank you, Kesa. Um, and I just, I knew that it was like Eldritch. <laughs> Nanny the fuck? <laughs> Buggle in. <laughs> it is rated teen, so I don't think we're fucking the Cthulhu monster today. <laughs> Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, they say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. So if the world is going to end either way... Deal. I don't play dating sims anymore, really. I play horror games, ma'am. Well, this is a little bit of both, right? I played the, um, the Overwatch dating sim last year. I thought that would be funny. Excellent! Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the Invoke the Depths ritual? Invoke the Depths. Do not perform this ritual alone. Snuff all light from the room. Okay. My lamp is gone. My ceiling lamp is gone. That's closed. Okay. Turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. I kind of want this game now. Well, you can either get it or you can hang out with me. Oh shit, she on the bed. <laughs> or you can, or you can do both. I don't know. I don't know if it's like a a multi choice where you can get, like, different endings. Um, in that case, it's probably worth getting it yourself so you can explore your own endings. When all is complete, chant this. Do not look out your window from now on. If for some reason I forget that, please remind me. Do not look out your window. Piss. <laughs> All right, again. I think I'm gonna get murdered. I'm not good at this. Home sweet home. Are we? What did I just do? You brought the outer depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. The closer you get to where my true form lies, oh, yikes. Dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start perfectly. doing these See, on guys, your own, I'm right? fucked. <laughs> I'm so fucked. No, 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 wait, why are you leaving? I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? My shower. My shower. <laughs> She's like, nah, you dead. She said I have to do it perfectly. Well, I already fucked up both of the spells that I've done. Ah, no, not at all. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean it. Don't peek. I won't. Mm -hmm. Our name changed from me to darling as well. I won't peek. You're sure you won't? Positive. All right. I'll be back in a chippy. Perform abysmal mist. Ensure your sink or shower is running to make the sound of moving water, then go outside. So, she said not to peek, but she's in the shower, right? So that's done, right? <laughs> Avoid making eye contact 
with that which roams the fog. They'll know if you saw them. Turn off your lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning. It'll just help lower <laughs> your electricity bill. Do I chant this before or after? I'm thinking too hard. You know... <laughs> the one <word> else <laughs> said. <laughs> um... Do I? I don't know. Chant it before, I would assume. And then we're going at sun. That's what we're gonna try to do. I think this is just probably after that. I don't know. Go outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the wrong way. Is she gonna make me wear the Cthulhu mask if we, like, be boogieing? Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh. Do I have to chant it? Wait, I have to chant it outside, I think. The <laughs> mask stays on. <laughs> I think that's what's gonna happen. Jeez, it looks like quiet hill out here with all this fog. Is something moving out there? Uh, darling, you didn't! But you told me to! What? I love foggy rainy days oh, okay. by the sea. Yeah, it's it's quiet like hill. <laughs> my favorite weather on the surface world. I didn't know you have a house on the water! <laughs> I didn't five minutes ago. In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? <sighs> There's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. I'd hate to cut the fun short, but can we go back inside? Now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? It feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like, but it's not like it's any safer in there. After all, the next page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. I don't like that. Unspeakable horror? Some kind of monster is gonna jump out at me? You'll see what I mean. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well, she on the bed again. Um, I can't read this one. <laughs> I, I, I'm... oh, <laughs> why did I just? <laughs> what the hell? I can't even begin to pronounce this. Yeah, duh. That's why it's an unspeakable horror. The way I just rolled my eyes, and I wish that y'all could see. <laughs> Unspeakable! Get it? As in, cannot be spoken. Mm -mm. At least not by humans. Wait, you can pronounce this? Of course I can! I can pronounce anything! Anything? Oh, <laughs> I guess we're the one of the same anything? Anything. Oh yeah, then what's this? Can y'all pronounce that? Cause I can't. <laughs> I cannot pronounce that word. Worcestershire. 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 Worcestershire? I don't fucking know. That's not what I can pronounce, like, Worcester realistically. Shots? Okay. Alright. I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> Damn, you are the real deal. <laughs> Wash your sister socks. <laughs> eh. 
Hey, wait a minute. Those tentacles are like extra tongues, right? Then your weakness is tongue twisters. I really didn't think that was gonna go the way it did. <laughs> Say, toy boat, ten times fast. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. All right, all right. I wish that was my joke. Well, you too could play this if you wanted to. Show off. Eldritch Mouth. This ritual will allow you to utter unspeakable incantations. Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be easily cleaned. Like a bathroom. Wear no robes or amulets. Have a ritual knife on your person. How convenient that this cool little dagger is here. Jesus Christ. The icon for this is cool though, I'll be honest. Eldritch map, huh? Maybe I should have considered the spell more carefully before casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my livelihood on the line here. Okay, big breaths, brace yourself. What's different? His hair? His hair was brown. I, I don't think he was wearing pink. I didn't look at us close enough. I'm... I'm... I'm still cute as hell. Yeah, I think our name starts with D, though. So I think we just got, like... Cute. <laughs> Cutified. But I thought I'd get an Eldritch Mouth or something. Everything seems pretty much the same. Weird. Oh, Yassify! <laughs> Why are you let down? Did you want him to be like a horror man? Hey, Lynetta. Yes? What? <laughs> the Cthulhu mask. We'll probably get one later. Or we'll put on the mask. Drop my phone that's on my fucking lap. Ah! You startled me. You, you called me! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Who the hell was that third voice? What are you talking about? Oh, is the mouth like on my, my butt cheeks or something? She takes a hold of my hand. Oh, it's on the hand. Okay. Hello, <laughs> well, That's me all the time during my stream. Yeah, that's me at the slightest fucking scary thing. Oh, that too. Oops, here goes my phone. I should just like put it down and not have it on me, but you know. Whoa, hand holding on the first date, moving fast, but that's okay. No, look at your hand, silly. My hand. Ew! <laughs> here you go, cleric. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> oh, get, get it off! <laughs> Quick, grab that knife from the bedroom to cut it off. Hurry. Cut it off? But it's your hand now. See? <laughs> you think you could eat a burger through your hand? <laughs> Maybe, but where would it go? Also, Kesa, I need you, now that you've brought up burgers, to look into my channel points. And hopefully you have enough. But there is now a burger command. He just turned into Daedra. De Daedara? Daedra. Daedara. I haven't watched Naruto in a minute. Hit me with the burgers. Hit me with the burgers! 
Surely enough, it's not a disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It is very much embodied mouth, indeed. Is this really my hand? What did I do to my hand? Yeah, <laughs> 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 thank you. <laughs> thank you, Clary. Darling, are you all right? This is screwed up. I mean, I knew I'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disfigurement this early on? But, but I'm not stopping before I get that smooch. No matter what, I just gotta think positive. This isn't so bad. I mean, there's gotta be a silver lining to this. Uh, uh, now I have my pick of which mouth I use to you use when I smooch ya. Huh. Uh. They're in the channel point redeems, Kesa. So, um, if you click the little, like, blue flame, and then it, it's titled mm, Borbor. Borbor. <laughs> Darling. Is that one at the door? Again? This is bad. Did I get busted? The sudden shock feels like a splash cold of cold water that snaps me to my senses. You did it, hamburger. <laughs> Damn, I must have done something to give us away. Was I shouting too loudly about that knife? Did the neighbors call the cops? That's the fastest fucking cops ever. If that's the cops, it's probably not. I'm proud of you, Kesa. I'm proud of you. If someone interrupts my rituals now, the stars will fall out of alignment before I can finish. Damn it! I even picked up the apartment on top on the Huh? Damn it! I even picked the apartment on the top floor to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. Excuse me. If it's the police, they're going to insist on looking around. I'm not gonna be able to smooth talk my way out of a demon in my room. Either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are gonna go south once I answer the door. Hello! Are you in? <laughs> I heard you shouting just now. Come on, let me in. That's another fucking monster. Crap! It's even worse than the police. There's only one person it could be, and at the worst possible time! What do I do? Is it even safe to go outside right now with all the world bending spells I've been casting? Who's that, darling? Uh, probably the mailman. I'll make him leave. Give me a sec. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? No! I mean, no. I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, you're a mind flaying goddess. Maybe it'll be too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Hmm. I guess that's a good point. Wait here. I'll be right back. Missy, hey. Good to see you. How do you do? I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own private department. Why is she missing an eyeball? Missy. She's an old, money-rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I work at and started showering me with gifts. She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside working hours, but it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. The eye patch is giving. You right. It's pretty cute. But I'm concerned. <laughs> In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I could afford to buy all this eldritch paraphernalia. But best of all, she's smoking hot. If I may be so bold, I... Well, I have something special to give you. May I come in? What if she's also just an eldritch lady? That's just, like, disguised all the time. Oh god, yes. Oh hell yes. Right this way, mi Wait! Lynette inside. I got so caught up in the moment, I almost forgot. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. Think you could just give it to me out here? <laughs> Eldritch Sugar Mama, it might be, we'll see. Oh, uh, it's not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. Hey, yo. <laughs> <coughs> A present that has to be given in private? 
Oh man, what could it be? <laughs> Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. If Lynetta and Missy meet, I'm toast. Can I really not help myself with my life on the line here? Say something, idiot. Oh no. <laughs> Are you stuck in ads still? They don't tell you when they show up. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, well, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? I can't go out after dark. I'm sorry. I need to figure out, like, my bot to tell me, like, hey, we're about to hit ads. Sorry. I can't go out after dark. How old is this woman? When did it cut her ads? Right. I forgot. Her weird curfew. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. Darling, what's taking so long? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Right when she said she can't give you your gift in the open, that is a pretty good ad cut, I'll be honest. <laughs> Is Lynetta coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. I should set up mods for tonight now that I think about it. Are you playing uh, Lethal? Huh? Who was that? You have company over? Are they about to fight? <laughs> Fucking Miss Cthulhu and generic rich woman. This is music is tense. That's just the mailman? Inside your apartment? <laughs> Why is his excuse always mailman? Shoot! <laughs> Got my lame excuses mixed up. Hey! What do you think you're doing? No one slammed the door in my face! No one! Oh man, she's pissed. Sorry, Missy. This is the only way I survive this. What's going on, darling? Oh no. <laughs> Uh, turns out it was one of those, uh, door-to-door -door salesmen. They can be really pushy, you know? Haha. <laughs> oh my god. Haha. <laughs> I don't want any. <laughs> want me to make them go away? Oh, this is getting so tense. No, no, I got this. You just have to be persistent. Eventually they give up. Did she finally give up? Okay. I better smooth things over with her later before she tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. Better hurry through these rituals before there's more interruptions. Metamorphosis. Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling and invoke the depths. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure his imagery appears in no way in poster or tapestry. What? Who his? Who his? Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. So I am gonna do this before I forget. Um, I'm assuming his is me, so I'm gonna have to take down my poster of myself. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Have a ceremonial knife on your person, which I should have. Always remember the second step on the previous page. Proceed in total darkness. Okay. I mean, we're, we're in darkness. Yeah? Alright. Let's see. Oh, y'all hear that, right? Human before. 
Now you're totally oh. my type. <laughs> I'm trying to respond, but no sound is coming out of my mouth. Highlighted the finally. <laughs> even when I try to shout as loud as I can, I can't even manage a whisper. Something is not right. What happened to me? <laughs> Prepare offering. Prepare offering. Break up. Prepare offering. Eliminate the room to your comfort. Like necessary ingredients from cold storage. Huh. I forgot. It's like the star. Huh? Is that the... Um, well, wait, what is, no, they said not to look, okay, don't look out the window, don't open that, got it, I almost fell for it, what are the necessary ingredients, oh, my mouth is blue, <laughs> just like milk and fucking yogurt, yikes, all right, Already smells delicious, darling. All it needs is a little something and it'll be perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. Reach into oblivion. Yikes. Wear a ceremonial robe and have a ritual knife in your possession. I need the eyeball. There we are. Have another life form on your person. <gasps> the turtle! The turtle! We're gonna sacrifice the turtle! <laughs> I'm so upset! Here, her name here, her name here, her name here. Her name. Her name. It's not even her name here. Um Something terrible is blocking the door. Something terrible Lindbergh is blocking the door. Um Um, mm. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I was ready. Read this. All reality is doomed. Once you start this switch rule, complete all three pages quickly. You will be vulnerable until you finish. Do not open any blinds, windows, or doors. Do not turn on any lights, snuff any existing lights, or you will attract their attention. 
I'm sure this symbol is nearby. I am so anxious. Right? Stop! No! <laughs> It said not to. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, all right, okay. She is coming and sure this symbol is nearby. Wait, what does that say? Do not cover your ears, you will need them? Huh? Fuck. This one? Yes. If she gets into your room, it's too late. Ensure the symbol is nearby. And just repeat this chant until you believe you are safe. This took a very dark turn. Oh my god. I am so stressed. Chills. I don't like this. <laughs> okay, but what the fuck? <laughs> what is the checkpoint? Oh, it's true ending. I don't even get a true ending. <laughs> Can I like skip through this in a different way? Abysmal miss. Okay, hold on. Should we look out the window? Just for the fun of it. Do not look out your window from now on. Fuck it. We already got the bad ending. Still a bad ending. All right. <laughs> That's not it. I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, go outside and chant. This is the wrong way. I always think it's the wrong that that the left is out. I don't like that I can also still hear the scary part. Just speed running through this since we already, uh. I'm tempted to, like, look up a walkthrough, honestly. Because I'm not sure what I can be doing differently. And I know, like, half the fun is trying to figure it out, but I'm fucking stupid. So... <laughs> <clears throat> At least, like, in the... Like, there's two different things here, right?
Okay, there is so much, actually. Holy shit. <laughs> Apparently, if you, um, if y'all are okay with spoilers, if not, close your ear holes. Um, secret, if you peek into the shower while Lynetta is using it, you will get the worth it ending on the secret spoiler. <laughs> okay, alright, hold up. So let's... Staying here. Sorry. Enjoy your lyrics, Claire. But I ain't staying here. Do we peek? Okay, so do we peek? I'm peek. <laughs> Just to see, I think it probably. Okay, we got that one. Hey, she's told us not to peek. You know? <laughs> okay, cool. So we can just load into... Y'all already got my, uh voice acting for this, so... Alright, let's see... I don't think- there's probably nothing we can do. Cause we just block her out anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so now that we have the Eldritch Mouth, we can go back and do this, which is neat. I didn't think about doing that. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um... So it says, after a conversation with Aneta and a new character, perform the metamorphosis ritual. <laughs> okay, so apparently, I'm not reading. Oh, we can't understand this yet. So you can do the breakup, which is funny. Um, I'm almost tempted to do that one, honestly. Okay, um... I think we can just oh, load in from prepare offering. Maybe. No? Just kidding. We can't do anything. Okay. Proceed into total darkness. No lights, no candles. This. Everything is off. Wear the robe, necklace, and the mask. Have the knife on you, and then don't have. Okay. I hate 
make these noises, man. Hello. Now we have to prepare the offering, which is like us cooking or something. <coughs> Darling, what are you looking at? Oh my god. Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? <laughs> oh, welcome back. Is that the truth? I was looking at the breakup page and she fucking jump scared me. That's pretty much what's happened so far. Hmm. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? Good. I know what page you were on. And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Okay. Maybe we don't do that. <laughs> Maybe we don't do that. You have to do it three times. All right. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect any necessary ingredients from cold storage and ensure the symbol is nearby. Okay. I'm not lighting that any candles this time. So when we have to do the fucking other one. Maybe we'll be fine. It was the eye, right? Yeah. Peace, turtle. I'm sorry. Okay. We're gonna keep our cool this time. Not be anxious about it. Okay. I hate that I have to like move back over. You know. Can I have this please? I don't want to skip. Fuck, I just skipped it. Okay. Darling, what's wrong? You're pale as a sheet. Okay. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Tell by the look on your face. I'm still a little anxious. <laughs> glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. Guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? <laughs> oh, sweetie, don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. Though, Great. I should tell you, everything you saw and heard, it's still there. What you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon, uh, it will be impossible to deny its presence, and even escaping reality won't protect you. If you like, I could move you to the front of the line and and you painlessly uh, myself. As thanks for waking me up. I don't like this. <laughs> you wouldn't hear those screams anymore, or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. Uh, or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. 
have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Being destroyed first or last? Which oh would you God. prefer? My darling. Okay, so I love you. I appreciate that you got this game for me, but what the fuck? <laughs> Do not attempt this ritual without performing. Prepare offering and reach into it. Uh, no, it's okay. I had it on my wish list. I should have fucking looked into it more. I was just like, ah, oh, cute little ladies. Cute monster ladies. Like, this is fine. <sighs> it's not fine. Anyway, uh, let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. I, I'm still afraid to cake. I'm still afraid to open that. Yo, say when I gift it to you. Now I'm like, bruh. <laughs> this is not not the dating sim I was ready for. Uh, have the offering on your person. So we didn't kill the turtle. I guess. Delicious! Just perfect! I wish you could make offerings like this forever! Well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. Pledging yourself to me! Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your Jeez. very mouth and echo into oblivion. The privilege is yours alone. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? Sure can. Sure can. Thank you, my love. Hehe. <laughs> 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 I'm like fucking scared. <laughs> uh. All right, let's see. Have a ritual knife on your person. Chant five times to fill the heart. Okay, I got a knife and a turtle. Five times. Oh. Where's the serotonin, you bitch? Right, Crinzil? Crinzil? Is that how you say that? Hello? Thank you for the check-in. How are you? How would you find the stream? Uh, I'm fucking terrified. That was three? Right? doesn't play horror games accidentally playing a little bit of a horror game. How are you? <laughs> it's done. The last ritual. You did wonderfully. Thanks. <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date. We have two, two hearts. That look on your face. We're almost to smooch. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. So why destroy me? And all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? 
that's what you're thinking, right? Yeah. Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Not gonna lie, maybe spin my Red Bull out. She said, a girl who don't play horror games accidentally playing one. I, yeah, yep, mm hmm Uh, I don't know, have you played this game? Is that why you're here? You found it through the game? Or, if you found it through the game, you probably like the game. Um, uh, I thought I was just gonna be dating cute monster girls. Um, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> well, when you woke up. You destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love humans. And I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. No, I've been following. I'm just usually lurking. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you have a different name? Or am I just a shitty person who can't remember people's usernames. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. You're up, my darling. Smooch! You earned it. Smooch. Smooch. Yes, it was Elote Connex Tracule. I don't, I'll be honest, I don't remember that name either. Wait, maybe I do. Maybe I remember the elote. I think I was excited about the elote. Maybe. <laughs> I have such a bad memory. I'm sorry. <laughs> I appreciate your lurks, though. You're always lurking. I'm a smooch. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm, like, trying to see what my face is. Like, his eyes are red. I'm covered in blood, I think. I think. I don't know. But can we just. Can we appreciate? Can we appreciate this? This eyes right here? <laughs> corn with extra chili, but in Spanish. Yeah, I like a lote. That street corn life. Alright, guys, we did it! Um. I never have to play this game again. There's definitely no other ending. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I had that right, right. Okay, so escaped reality, awake end, and there's something else. I think that is the Darling, what's wrong? Breakup thing? What? <sighs> yeah. And she's gonna jump scare us, I think. Ma'am, don't need- you don't look over here, alright? <laughs> yeah, I was ready, and I wasn't ready. <clears throat> alright, <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. Alright, um... I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure what the other ending here is. I am looking at a guide, I'll be honest. Um... Nothing is just your imagination. I don't know. I'm not sure what the next step would be to get a different ending. Because this one is saying alternate ending if you perform the breakup ritual. Which obviously...
Um, Thank you for the burgers, Cleric. I'm just reading, trying to figure out. We made it, we smooched. I don't know if you saw the smooch, but we got to smooch it. Um, alright, let me main menu. Sucker for love. First date. Cause we might no. You did miss the smooch, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cooking steak before a stream, hell yeah. What kind of steak? How are you cooking it? Uh, there's like different chapters. The fuck shit? Sucker for love. Maybe. First date. Okay, okay, okay. So we can, we can do chapter two, I believe. Yes, okay. Chapter two. The king in yellow approaches. So cheery and happy, but I'm sure I'm gonna get fucking scared again. <laughs> Garlic and chili flakes with salt for the bread. So we have to have some food here. This looks really good. I had Wendy's for dinner. <laughs> In a world terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacle nightmares, something as innocuous as an additional star in the night sky may be the most pro prophetic, prophetic, prophetic premonition of doom. For wherever the lurid golden light of the planet Carcosa shines, the long wicked shadow of the king in yellow is cast. Behind that mask lies echoes of decadence and disorder, masquerades of limitless and cruelty, and hideous laughter in equal part. And of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of the God King's court, the favored victims of the King's sadistic amusement are followers belonging to other deities. Huh? What? Where? Huh? <laughs> Did I do it out? I was. What was I doing? Damn, I'm having one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember for the life of me what I was supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. Was I going to work? I am standing outside after all. And a voice effect shit. All right, we'll see what happens. It's either gonna be great or terrible. Hello? Hello? Wait. Wait. Hello? Hello? All right, it's, it's not changing. changing. Hold, Hold on. on. Let, Let me get, get like, like an, an actual, actual random, random one. one. Because it's, it's just, just chosen, chosen the, the same, same one. one. Every time. Always mod. Hello? Is that from the game? game? <laughs> no. no. Okay. okay. It's 
the special evening films or something. I've clearly seen that. It's the golden hour right before sunset. I'll just have to ask someone for my time. For the time, I'll find me to work. It's not. If it's not too late, and I really put in, I'll just get two minutes in the front. I'll still have to deal with being shut in, and I'll figure that out when I get back.
It's a mercy. Like, Overwatch mercy. <laughs> Hey, like my bee box. <laughs> Kesa, deep, regular, up to you. I feel like the deep fits it a little bit better. I'm listening to myself, so my words are fucked up. I'm gonna go deep for now. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Regular, my volume gamer and stuff right now. Okay. Do you like this one better? <laughs> I am a guy. This sounds so weird. <laughs> I'll be deep. If you decide that you don't like this, let me know, and I'll change it. Alright, and that is five more minutes. I feel like I sound like, um... Like the trivia horror, the trivia murder party. I feel like I sound like Canary. Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? What is her deal? I knew she'd be pissed that I slammed the door in her face, but not so much that she wouldn't notice any of the things obviously wrong here. Why doesn't she care about this freaky thing stalking me outside? Or is it that my room, or that my room is full of evil idols and ritualistic tokens? Clearly, really shouldn't care. I can explain all this stuff. Let me guess. Accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. <coughs> Well, yeah, uh, exactly right. Did you just randomly guess that? No, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been doing. You know what this is, don't you? Huh? It's a golden version of my book. The book I used for form rituals for Lynetta. Hers looks way more ornate than mine. The cough with the deep voice is extra crisp. <laughs> My fucking cough ASMR. Considering I ended reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. Wait a minute, Sky. The suspicious man outside. They all match Missy's book. Is she making all of this happen? Oh god. I thought this said on god, because I have like a clear thing above it. <laughs> on god! <laughs> When I expected her to show, when when I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she was just gonna show up with a hatchet or something. Missy, look, I'm sorry. I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't. Sorry, you're sorry. Why are you acting so afraid of me? <laughs> Could it be that you know what this book is capable of? I know all too well, but I also know with these that these incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce, and that's if she gets it right on the first try. So worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash for a ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. If I can distract her, I might be able to buy myself more time. Missy, look, I'll do whatever you want. Anything? I can be rather... Demanding. Name your price. So bold. In that case, I have three commands. Number one, you'll address me as Your Highness from now on. Your Highness. When I come home, it's Welcome home, Your Highness. Your Highness. When she comes home, she wants to move in, but that means. Whatever, it's not like I'm gonna have to actually follow through on these. At least one of us is about to die. As you wish, your highness. What else? Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. You're one and only. Uh-oh. You're very humble. Sure, whatever. Just a little bit more until I'm in sprinting range of the night. And number three. You'll obey every order and whim I have, absolutely, without question. 
Sounds so you agree to my terms? Absolutely. Absolutely. What? Absolutely, Your Highness. I feel like I'm in a fucking media BDSM relationship right now. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> Whatever I ask, then, there's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. No, definitely not. As a matter of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. She just handed over her book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulses and crackles from my fingertips. She... Is she not here to hurt me? Oh, confused. I've liked you for a long time. And you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to boot. There's no reason we can't simply work together. After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? Right. We narrowly escaped with our lives just now. But something is bothering me. How does she remember that I stood her up in the reality that ended under Lynetta's awakening? Alright, I go back to my normal glory voice. Sorry. <laughs> and how did she get in through my window? I doubt she was able to climb several stories dressed like that. And then pass through my locked window without breaking it. There's only one possible answer. Alright, your highness, I'm ready to enter my lifetime of ser servitude to you. I just have one small request first. <laughs> Being? Oh shit, I thought I'm talking now. I'm Missy. Hey. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Did you tell me what this is? <laughs> huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? What about it? <laughs> I love that this keeps coming up. Aw, oh, you made me gay. Thank you. <laughs> so, you're an eldritch god disguised as a human. What? How did you figure that out so suddenly? I called it from the beginning. Isn't it obvious? No human being can pronounce worst, worst chest, where? <laughs> Worcestershire. Of course not. It's an eldritch alone word. Why else would it be spelled like that? I wish it was all like this without the like jump scares and scary parts. I just want the, the fucking comedy. <laughs> <sighs> I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Damn. Yeah, you should have tried using your eldritch form instead. I would have fallen in love immediately. What? <laughs> what? You think cosmic entities are attractive? As a human? She has not been on certain corners of the internet. Greedy women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non e you I I've mm, that's a word. You sit the lit the ba 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 da da. I can hear it in my brain. I can't make the word happen. Anyway, geometry are smoking. They've got curves. I can literally get lost in. <laughs> if I had known that you're attracted to my cosmic godhood. I would have just let Euclidean, it thank you. Like, I could hear that in my head. <laughs> uh, this is why I never wanted to read out loud in school. Because it doesn't fucking work for me. <laughs> oh, I just broke my fucking nail trying to fix my chair. Huh? Ugh. I hate that for me. Oh, I broke it in such a bad place. I'm just gonna perish. See you later. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Esther, King in Yellow, Aries de Carcosa. Charmed, I'm sure. My finger hurts. <laughs> Shit. She's gorgeous. A bada bada eldritch king in my room. Oh man, all my fantasies of smooching and eldritch horror are coming true. An eldritch royalty to boot. 
The King in Yellow. Sounds familiar. I can't remember why. My memory of my other existence is kind of fuzzy. What I do remember is that her followers tend to be incredibly violent towards cultists loyal to other gods. Like, Lynetta. Shit. I kinda got swept up in the moment and almost forgot I had already pledged fealty to a different god, this reality or not. Ah, wait, I'm sorry, I'm already involved with another god. I'm following Lynetta. I know, so loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Wealth, power, whatever that rotten witch Lynetta offered you, I can double it. I don't know, y'all. I think Lynetta's cuter. I don't like this. She promised me a smooch. Then I shall... What, what, what? <laughs> Damn. You handed over your reality to her? For a singular smooch? Are you mad? Clearly. You heard me. So you'll match her offer then? I... I s suppose... If that's all you're selling the world for, then a smooch can be... Uh, arranged. Okay, okay. No way, you promised to double it. That's two smooches. Now hold on a minute! Two of them, on the lips. Off to eat and then prep. Adios, have a good stream. You as well, my dude. Enjoy your dinner, enjoy your stream. Alright, alright, very well. Two smooches, lip to lips. <laughs> Damn, she's like not happy about this. I just usually my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame and influence, or some lavish indulgence. Nobody's ever dared to ask to kiss me before, so Virgin. <laughs> she's blushing for real. You really want to smooch me? Well, <clears throat> your terms are amenable. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. Yeah, I can't promise that. Scenes? The prompt book I gave you contains the script for the king in yellow. Huh? You mean the spell book that I was so afraid of? It's just a damn play? This thing is just a playbook? Where are all the power invoking rituals? Rituals? Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? No, we aren't barbaric swamp folk casting Hocus Pocus in a cave. We have a little class. To invoke my power, my play must be performed. Perfectly. Perfectly? I don't always get these rituals, sir. I mean scenes, right the first time. What happens if I botch my lines or set a scene wrong? Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication. And you'll also be killed. Yeah, that checks. I'm getting those smooches no matter what. Break a leg, dearest. Alrighty. Uh, act 1, Invitation, Setting, Exterior, and View of the City. I have to get rid of my chat because it is in front of that and I can't read it. Post, click and drag the first word of the first line slowly. Ooh. I already fucked up. Yeah, I already fucked up. We we did great. <laughs> Shit. I don't want to talk to this bitch again. Okay. It helps if it's not glitchy. Oh, I'm supposed to be outside. That's what it is. It be saying words that are too big for my little brain. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Anyway. Oh, Lord.
party. Greetings, stranger, fortune, fellow, tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow, so come all ye in youthful. That's probably not how you say that. Wear thine masks upon you to my masquerade until he may come to lost youthful. Hope for us, there may be still. Shadows lengthen, dim streets darken, to the curfew thou must hearken, why so loudly dost thou bark in the dim city of Yatil? Yatil. Yeah, I was been saying that, right? Um, I don't like this bitch. <laughs> Only much attention, quite unwholesome you'll instill from the souls of poor Yatil, why attract so much ill will? This is just what I must seek. See, hidden somewhere amongst the meekly, tis one invitee I seek, he shall all my mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow, whose great wealth I shall accrue. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king as whom they say, which shall this city indeed smite. If he comes, she he's telling so you quickly. and I will know his might. I'll be lost within a night. What reward is worth that price? I have the lips. Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loathing, lasting till I'm decomposing all my friends whom strife I have caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. They shall all be proud because I had brought the king to us. Yay! He did it. Bravo! Ah. Simply splendid! Why, oh, thank you. That was actually pretty funny. I have fun. <laughs> Not funny. Uh, that was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. Yeah, I was a theater kid. My school did Macbeth. A virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you've performed Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. Tell me, what role were you? The leading man, I presume. Who was tree number four? I... wasn't aware that was a role. Me, though? It's not. You weren't even the leading tree? <laughs> Don't worry, I was actually Macbeth. I thought you said you were a tree. Thing. Oh, you are good. Whoa, hey, what's happening to you? Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet's light and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. You know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast? It's a literal rule. I can only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. In other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light or if anything obstructs your uh, view yes. of Carcosa. Her weird sleep uh, curfew. Yeah, that explains why Missy had a weird daytime curfew. She'd literally vanish when the sun sets. What a Cinderella-like curse. That also explains how she got in my room. My window may have been locked. But the curtains were open, allowing the light in. So she can't get into my room if I close my curtains. Aw, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. Alas, parting is such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until then, I bid you adieu. A forehead kiss! Looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Lynetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Esther is stuck outside for the moment, so I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lynetta and Esther, who do I want to smooch? Or maybe more accurately, 
What am I more afraid of? Do I stay with Lynetta, or do I follow Esther this time around? She is offering twice as many smooches, after all. I need to make my choice. If I want to stay with Lynetta, then I should focus on casting spells from her book. If I want to smooch Esther, then I should open my window again when the clouds clear and use Esther's book. And if I try going for both, well, walking down the middle of the road is bound to get me run over. As long as they aren't both in the room at the same time, I should be safe, right? Oh man, what am I going to do? Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She may be an avatar of world-ending calamity, but she might be able to help me get my head straight. Speaking of my head, why does my forehead feel kind of sticky? Uh, probably because she kissed you on the forehead. Um, let's see. Um, is her book I feel like you're I don't know I am confused I guess I have to summon her so draw the curtain turn off your bedside and blam turn off Blah, 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 turn off everything that casts light. All right. Red fire candles. Find and put on your ritual necklace. Darling, it's you! Hey, Lynetta. It's nice to see her, despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may have ended the reality I was from, but she never lied or deceived me in any way. She told me up front what would happen, and I did it willingly. That said, I'm really glad you're here, but... Can you tell me what happened to me, to the world we dated in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. Just as I thought, only... Then why am I still here? Why did I survive when the rest of the reality... That reality didn't? Oh, darling, don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. You are still here because I'm... I'm still dreaming about you. Hey, yup. <laughs> Everything in existence is being dreamed about by at least one Eldritch God. So as long as you're on my mind... You'll exist somewhere. That's actually kind of sweet in a terrifying cosmic way. What would happen if every god stopped dreaming at the same time? What if you all woke up all at once? Everything, including all of the gods, would cease to be. And that... And that can just happen at any time? Nah, don't worry! There's about 50 of us total, so the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. There's only like 50 of you and all? She probably knows Esther very closely. Mm -hmm. Kind of a big family, huh? Family? D do you know Esther? Esther? Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially not my sister. Her sister? <laughs> oh no! Sister? Ugh, I can't stand my prissy little boyfriend stealing. Don't I have a great relationship with her? Absolutely not! We've been fighting over planets and followers for eons! It wouldn't be a stretch to call us nemeses. Yikes. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward. Darling, what's that on your forehead? That's what? It looks like a lipstick mark. That's not from another god, is it, darling? Because if it is, well... You die here. 
No way. Did Esther leave a kiss mark on my face when she kissed me? I should have checked the mirror before I summoned Lynetta. It's, uh... It's what? Come on, man. Just bullshit it. Say something. It's ritual paint. Ritual paint? Yeah, it's one of the steps needed for your rituals. Uh-huh. Oh, really? She, she fucking knows. Come on. Yeah. Which ritual? Uh-oh. It's... It's a secret! I'm going to pretend that this lipstick mark came from a human girlfriend. So that I can spare you. But from now on, if you contact another god, I swear I'll stop being so sweet. Okay? You wouldn't care if I had a human girlfriend? Of course not! Why would I care about that? When it's a race against other gods to amass as many followers as possible, expecting your followers to be celibate is a bad move. For Grammy Roxanne, it's actually a requirement that you start a big family, or you get excommunicated from her following. Grandma Roxanne? Oh, I'm sure you've heard of her. She's got the most followers out of any of us. She's the Black Goat of the Woods, or the Mother Goddess of Fertility. A fertility goddess, you said? No funny ideas, mister. There's no telling what I'd do if you cheated on me with a family member. Esther. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now if I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Eldritch Hand saved my ass last time. I better cast that one in case I'm unable to talk again. Sheesh, listen to myself. What the hell is wrong with me, man? Bathroom, no robes or amulets. Wrong button. Whoops. Oh, I forgot the knife. I should pay with any diet. She's gone. I don't like that. Come back. Oh, it's worse now, Cleric. Look! <laughs> I know you're not here anymore, that's fine. But look! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Shit. Still as unnerving as I remember. In this reality, it's just, just my hand now. Forever. Ah, it's such a nice day outside. It's a little dry for my liking, but we could totally have a date date. Ah, day date. <laughs> Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here? Excuse me. Oh no. No, wait. What? What is it? Uh, are you sure you want to do that? What do you mean? I mean, uh, don't you want to shower first before you go out, like last time? Huh? Why would you suggest that? Oh no. Don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? <laughs> Just a tad salty. Heavens below! I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. No peeking but I love you! <laughs> that was a close one. If she opened that window, Esther would have came. I would have been a goner. Looks like the clouds have cleared and Lynette is out of the room. If I want to date Esther, it's go time. Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lynette, I need to make absolute sure. But that window never opens. Ever. It's time to choose. From this point on, my actions will have consequences. Alright, fuck that bitch. I don't wanna. Do I have to? No. Cool. Reform Metamorphosis. Performing this ritual after Esther's masquerade will have consequences. Is that what... yeah, okay. If you see or hear something strange, it is not your imagination. 
I'm going to also be right back. I'm going to make food real quick. All right, enjoy making your food. Proceed in total darkness, no lights, no candles. Ensure their images appear in no way. I still assume that is that. Uh... I'm gonna look at the thing again. I'm gonna cheat. Oh, okay, wait. So... Light, oh, shit. Light the candles to a black flame and flip to the final book of the yellow playbook and ritual will be available to you. Ah. <laughs> oh, there's three secrets in every- damn, okay. Okay, so now I will be loyal to the woman, you know? Um, okay. No lights, no candles. Okay. Snuff. That is off. That is off. All right. Wear a robe and necklace, wear a mask. Okay. Have the knife, the knife, the knight's knife. All right. My mouth, I can't move it again, just like last time. Okay, calm down, focus. If I can control my hand, then... Hey, hey, hey! You're learning to control your eldritch mouth so soon? I'm getting the hang of it. It seems I still have my muscle memory from the last reality. Good. Oh, oh, try saying something in Rillian! I can't say that. You. you learned to say I love you! You must have been studying, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty fluent now, right? Mm. What? Well, in Yavu Mohammed, vaulting would be a dangling participle error since you started the sentence with it, yeah, instead of yeah, yeah. <laughs> and since you and I are intimate, you don't need the gin suffix. No need to be so formal with your girlfriend. Yes, I still have a lot of learning to do. <laughs> yeah. How do you... Hung. Damn it, it's actually really difficult to speak English through my hand. She just said it in my brain. Mm -mm. Nope, it rolls off the tongue. And rolls off the tongue. In comparison, hand tongue, that is. Do you speak human la languages so well? Actually, most of us are hyper polyglots. You can't get people to worship you if you can't communicate with them. Valid. Really? What else do you know? English, Mandarin, Spanish, French, Arabic, ASL, parcel tongue, Elvish, Undercommon, Swedish. Hey, you made some of those up. All languages are made up, darling. Also valid, yeah. Mm -hmm. Perform dark communion. <laughs> She ripped out the breakup. Cute. <laughs> Aldrich and Bray, it's very spooky. Don't worry about these steps. All you have to do is give Lynetta a big old hug. I love, I love you. <laughs> Cute.
Okay. So there is another secret here, which I don't really want to do, but it is an option. Open the curtain while Annette is sitting on the bed. We'll let Esther in. This will trigger a dialogue between the two, ultimately leading you, leading to you getting another ending. Huh? Darling, who? They're gonna murder me, but I, I want the secret. Dearest. Uh oh. <gasps> My sister? You did it. Oh dear. Look at me, darling. What's going on? Well, obviously your darling has been playing us for fools. <laughs> I thought I had you wrapped around my finger. To think you broke your vow of fealty for this slovenly understudy. Esther, I knew you were a bedazzled dime a dozen hussy that beds the first literate ass kisser that'll sit through your little skits, but I expected better from you, darling. Did you really think you were just going to date two outer gods at the same time and get away with it? Nope. Hold on, did you just call the king in yellow a skit? It is a composition of theatrical genius that a Philistine like you couldn't appreciate if you had another thousand years sleep to mull it over. But if my play is too cultured for your tragically unrefined sensibilities, Perhaps you've heard the one about the watery tart who never gets a second date. <laughs> that one is true comedy. You uppity little... Hey, calm down you two. There's enough of me to go around. Can't we all just smooch and make up? <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Um... Chapter two. Can't go to metamorphosis. All right, great. I guess I have to do that again. Um, I assume I already did the other one. Okay. Metamorphosis once again. No lights. No posters. No necklace. Knife. Knife is already on. Oops. Sure do. Ah, I forgot to read that part. I thought- oh my fucking- I thought I had it on. Alright. Here we go again on our chance. There we go. Excuse me. Ah, let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. Okay, the light is over here now, I guess. Have the offering on your person. Delicious, just as perfect as last time. As long as we keep finding each other, we can keep doing this forever. I'd like do that. you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? I do remember. So you know what happens next. Right? One last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. Do I have to go through this fucking scary shit again? Oh, who knew waking up could be so exhausting? Gonna take, gonna take a nap before you. Well, and everything. You know me so well. 
kicking with the lights for me again, darling? I don't have to survive again, which is nice. That was my least favorite part of this. Unless it is. Whee! Off to our own stream, I might play this at some point that you should. Because you actually like the horror. And as I said to Cleric, I will say to you, enjoy. Have a good stream. Oh, shit, I missed. Okay, there's another secret. I'll have I to go back to it. need to talk to you first. Eric, what is it? What if... What if we didn't complete the final ritual? What if we just what lived if in I the stream forever? What if I stayed longer? So we could have a little more time together. Just you and me, lingering in a doomed world, alone. Like an endless dream come true. Romantic. Doesn't that sound nice? It does sound nice. Wait, no! We were finally going to be together forever! Did I just kill myself? We would have been so happy! This reality is doomed. You said it once, the dream has to end eventually. If you keep a dream going on forever, it has to become a nightmare eventually. Or worse, it becomes reality. Take a look at the world around us, and take a good look at me. This is what you want our reality to be like? <laughs> of course not! But my, my dream of being with you forever! never come true. But we can be together for a short time. Forever. But I'm not ready to say goodbye again! Why can't we just stay for good? She's breaking my heart. Why can our time together only be brief meetings and long farewells? What if we're saying goodbye forever? If I'm your dream guy, then there's no way this is goodbye forever. It's no big deal. You can always dream of me again. Darling, please don't go. I can stay asleep a little longer. I can. This is so sad. I'll be right back. Darling! <laughs> Darling, thank you for giving me a dream wonderful enough to remember clearly. <laughs> we got the other good ending. She's so sweet. I don't, like, I'm questioning if anybody plays what the fuck her name is. I don't even know what the fuck her name is. That's, that's how much I fucking care. Um, yellow theater bitch. I wonder if anybody plays her like with genuine like. Um, so uh, we're gonna do the dark communion again. And uh, do a sad thing instead. Before the final pledge ritual, instead switch to Esther's book and perform her rituals. Following this path will lead to the terrible ending. Not that I want the terrible ending, but... Backstage in an enclosed room with a mirror, prepare the host for scene two by doing the following. Apply the mask to the host's face to join the host in elegant robes. And 
knife. Look in the mirror to ensure the costume is properly... Okay. Wait, what game this is? This is Sucker for Love. Welcome, hello, welcome. Uh, the mask won't stay on my face, it just keeps slipping off. That metamorphosis spell must have made my face incompatible. Hi! Aren't you in proper dress, dearest? It's, uh... <laughs> it's a dating sim that's a little, uh, weird. I wasn't ready, either. Haha, <laughs> just... Having pre-show jitters. Getting the mask on is tricky with my hands shaking so much. Jitters? Yeah, you know, I, I know I look like a playboy, but I still get nervous in front of pretty girls like you. Dearest, you love your team. Yes? A little, yeah. <laughs> you missed some of the crazy shit. Like, this is, this is unsettling. But I had chills at one point <laughs> earlier. She would never lie to her, correct? Wouldn't dream of it. Then tell me, what happened? I try to avert my gaze, but her iron grasp pulls my chin firmly in place. Her long, sharp nails dig into my cheek. What an unfortunate accident. And an even more unfortunate face. For now, we shall conceal <laughs> that hideous visage of yours beneath the hood of your robe. Hopefully, this won't affect your performance. And in the interest of not having further accidents, you will have my undivided attention from now on. Listen, I thought I was just gonna be dating monster girls. It's the same. Hot. But, uh, we might get killed. You may express your gratitude to your king. Thank you, your highness. Oh, and dearest? One more thing. I may not be as barbaric as my sister, but I assure you I can be twice as dreadful. Do not give me cause to demonstrate. Hey. Wait, King? Isn't that a girl? It is a girl. I'm not sure why she's called the King. I'm also a little confused. Um, interior well lit. To be thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, well, I am in the interior. Oh, she's gone. Okay. Damn. Robes and mask. I have those on, right? Yeah. Okay. Give me the mouth. Thank you. Welcome, company much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish to this evening we shall share, which would be wasted by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, besides thyself, but I'll be besides myself when the king reveals himself. Lay thine hands upon my bodice, for before you stands a goddess. Know this guest of Goldenrod is merely the first of the night. Um, so Chubi, we are in chapter two, so just for a little, like, recap for you. Um, this is Missy, a.k.a. Esther, a.k.a. the king of whatever the fuck. I already forget. I don't like this lady. I am doing this to get the terrible ending, because we just got the good ending with the girl that I do like. <laughs> Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life lasting till your afterlife all be yours once he arrives. That rhyme lady. She's like a theater kid. Perform a perfect at the Titan.
Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling de der dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. Be graciously obeisance, demonstrate a courtly patience. He declines no invitation he receives upon his court. Man, I don't mind theater kids, but when they're like this, I don't like them. All who have doomed you till will know without report. The king arrived by your escort. A prophecy of grim import. In chapter one, you meet her, and I just, like, I didn't even like her voice from the beginning. An immaculate performance, dearest. Bravissimo. There's only one more scene to reenact, and then this world will be mine. I probably should have asked before we got to the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. Oh, that's actually a huge relief. What happens? Your character is slain, and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. Yay. In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Great. Wait, my character dies? I'm going to die? I thought you said this was a comedy. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, dearest. Is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? I that she's an outer god, so human morals, morals don't really apply to her, but that's gotta be cruel even for her. No way can I go through with that. Sorry, I don't want to die again. I anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. Fuck yeah. However, <laughs> my wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. So, for your sake, dearest... Do the fucking scene. Oh, uh, don't think she'd actually say it. I'm upset. <laughs> I was ready. I was so ready. Food preparation guide. Prepare the scene. Prepare for scene three by doing the following. Retrieve ingredients from a cold storage. Light the red candles. Allow the king into the room. Do not make a mistake. A or a hungry invited uninvited guest may arrive. Okay, you're already here. What the fuck did Switch mean? Huh? Huh? I already used up my supplies to cook for Lynetta. All that's left is leftovers from her dark communion. You must be kidding! You were seriously planning on serving this to me? Why is there a pentagram in a drawing of a pyramid scheme? Um, so these drawings can change depending on rituals that I'm doing. Um, and the beginning of this game is you summoning an elder scot or elder scottess. So that's why. <laughs> Wait, I can explain. Please, do. I have nothing. <laughs> Mere leftovers for a king? How humiliating! Yeah, I don't care about you. you Sorry. You serve your king leftovers. Who, pray tell, did you find worthy of the feast? Not you. She's on to me. She's gonna figure out I saved it to Lynetta. I hear heavy chains dragging nearby. I... I just got hungry. I skipped breakfast this morning, so... You ate an entire feast on your own because you were feeling peckish? Yeah! <laughs> so, the person you think deserves to eat before the king does is you? Yep, definitely me. Such self-idolatry is a serious crime against me. God, king, and heiress to Carcosa. Conveniently, the punishment for blasphemy and treason is the same. Death. <sighs> what a shame. I thought you had some potential, but you're a totally worthless servant in the end. Oh god, she's serious. I'm seriously going to die here. Wait, what if I did something to appease you? Then would my crime be forgiven? I am God King. All is as I say. If I wish for you to be pardoned, then it shall be so. <laughs> Perhaps if you grovel on your hands and knees, I can let you off lightly. I don't like this bitch. I immediately drop into a full prostitution bath. 
Please forgive me. Let me make things up to you, I beg you. <laughs> you look so pathetic like that. <laughs> Very well. You shall be... I'm a lowly worm. Forgive me. But don't let me off without harsh punishment first. But you... Don't you think you said that too willingly? I'm just checking, but... You're not... Enjoying this, right? <laughs> I might be enjoying it. This girl needs a therapist. Damn, yeah. I mean, she's a god. Goddess. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. She doesn't need to go to therapy, I guess, for her. She's already, like, up there. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, you shameless pig! You're lower than... This is what you were about to try to feed me, right? Uh? Then this will be no. your trough, swine! It was definitely something else. Oh, you want a bite? Even though my lips have touched it? Open wide! And don't drop a single morsel. I won't forgive you if you make a mess on my gown. A juice-soaked morsel from the leftovers is shoved into my mouth. It feels gritty with an unusual texture like it's covered in thousands of small hairs. Blech. It tastes... I, I assume that's supposed to be strangely. I can't even guess... I can't even begin to guess what food this used to be. I try to gulp it down before I can taste it, but it's too big to swallow whole. If I just bite it in half once and swallow the pieces, I might get it down before I get it. As I bite down, it burns... <laughs> It burns like a tomato, filling my mouth with sweet juice. It tastes extremely fruity. Sort of pineapple, even. That is... That is good. It's better than good. It's great. It's godlike nectar. Instantly addictive ambrosia. More. I need more. It's too delicious to have just one bite. It's seriously like nothing else. As soon as I swallow, I feel immediate. Side effects... Nope. I feel the immediate effects of withdrawal. I find memories of any other food fade to utter disgust. The mere thought of ever eating anything else makes my stomach churn. I greedily take another bite, filling my mouth with as much as I can. The smooth nectar bursting from every bite swims around in my mouth, coating every surface. It's so delicious that it's making my mouth tingle. Huh? Did I just bite my cheek? Why do I taste blood? Felt tingling suddenly turns into a sharp sting and then it's an, into an unbearable burning. My whole mouth feels raw, like I'm gargling acid. It's like my mouth is being digested. I lurch to spit it out, but my willpower fails me. I just can't bear to spit it out. It's too good. Just a little while longer, let me chew it just a little while longer. Who falls out of my mouth with a splat as a heap of bloody Sarah? It might be imagination, but I swear I spat out twice as much as I put in my mouth. The horror. <sighs> Wipe away that sour expression, dearest. The next act is about to begin, and everyone will be watching. Great. Interior, no light besides window. Host enters wearing robes and mask. Thank you! To be what the hell? Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. A follow and a sub? That's crazy. Alright, I think... I think, I think we get it. I hope you enjoy your new little hara wa moon. That's not a heart. Fucking what are shapes and the emotes and I think that's it. <laughs> oh, and no ads. No ads is good. <coughs> God. The end of the night and Morrow scornful. Wicked morning and morsefully. Wicked morning, unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitions unfulfilled? 
After all, my preparations, all the daylights I have killed, why is it us only still? Oh, why are my wishes unfulfilled? I'm just gonna talk over her. To be, did you find me through like VTuber? How'd you find me? I'm always curious how people find the stream. Though your greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die, it's within your grease you fry. Dearest host, the end is nigh. Perform a perfect recitation. Give me. Thank you. Wretched guest, you've come to mock me. For the amusement thou wast hawking, and so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. I was looking at Twitch, not sure what to watch, and then ended up here, and it was fun, so I stayed. Hell yeah. I'm glad that I could provide you some entertainment. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily depart. Leave the just my broken heart. Leave not else in whole or part. I wear no mask, no witness, for it was thee who hast permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city of Yatil. Go, for I'm the king in yellow whose long shadow's on Yatil, and whose huh? shadow you're in still. Huh? Dark as death is now huh? Yatil. I don't like this. King fatally injures the host. Yeah, right. Draw thy blade from mine contusion. Contusion? I can read. My life reaches its conclusion, cruelty matched by your delusion that you truly are the king. Yes. You would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. If indeed you were the king, why would you have... Why would you have murdered me? But I've granted all your wishes. I'm afraid I disagree. All alone you are with all of your remaining family. And as vision turns to darkness, you have claim to all you see. And you'll wear that mask and robe for the rest of all your life indeed. And the strong will fall to illness, haunt you too with... Stillness and none left alive to witness my ascension to your till. And from the catacombs shall spill the cries of innocence laid still. He heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. This woman is so Was annoying. unprecedented in the history of your till. Wales, unlike they'll ever be again in dark your till. Why did I put myself through this just to get the terrible ending? Quill. Brought the king to black your tail. Like I straight up said, let me try to get the terrible ending. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> You're all too kind. Listen to that applause, dearest. The euphoria of a flawless recitation. Ah, uh, recitation, that's how you say that. <laughs> Innumerable voices make up the cacophony of cheering outside my door. Excuse me. Fanatical reverie, screams of terror, and sadistic amusement all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smiles, dearest, smiles! Aren't you proud of yourself? Why? Why didn't you just use a stage knife? I'm... Really bleeding out here. My blood streams from a gaping wound in my chest. My abdomen is unseen. To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. Oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls, and the show begins. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Do this, and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. You promised me two smooches. Yeah, she stabbed me during uh the the play. <gasps> you mean the smooches you promised 
Plural, he said he'd give me two. Even now, that's really all you can think about? Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. And you're worried about smooches? Fuck well, yeah, I am. You are an interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. What am I supposed to do here? Because she's talking and then I die. Oh, okay. Not even gonna give me a bed. <laughs> I know. She's gonna let us die. The yellow sign is only visible or draw ball draw ball by those who have witnessed or performed the king in yellow play. Being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing or performing the play, the king in yellow will cause permanent irreversible obsession with the king, her court, and Carcosa. This in an insane obsession persists after death. What if I don't want to? <laughs> um, hold up. Okay. If you are content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights leaving your window open and light black fire candles, this will allow otherworldly images to reveal themselves. Um... Seeing as there's checkpoints, I assume I can go back, but... Okay, dim all lights leaving the window open. By the way, random question, but how often do you stream? Not often enough. Um, usually every Wednesday I'm on, at least. Um, and then I kind of pop in randomly throughout the week as I am feeling okay to do so. Um, but at least once a week. <laughs> Today is kind of like a bonus stream. Okay, dim all lights leaving your window open and light black fire candles and then draw the shape. Yeah, I wanna stream more. I'm just... Behold, a fragile human sign. being. <laughs> Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. Oh, I presume you are wondering about those smooches, huh? Tell yeah. me. Does a servant that betrays his master only to come crawling back to collect his reward deserve anything? Also, be so honest, self-motivation is so hard. Everybody's like, just be a streamer. Just, you can make so much money, be a streamer. And I'm like, I'm tired. <laughs> I just want to lay down. <laughs> so, it's just, you know. Getting on, streaming is its own thing. Um... And in all honesty, I usually don't have much of an audience, so <laughs> uh, it makes it a little hard as well to motivate myself to do this because I feel like I'm talking to myself a lot. So I appreciate you being here and small community building like this makes, makes it a little easier to come and stream more often. <laughs> You'll get nothing from me. Well, I take everything from you. I wanted smooches, bitch. So, no smooch? None. Not even two? If I wasn't going to give you one, why would you think I'd give you two? You know, I think I hate people that go back on their word even more than I love smooches. Hate? What's with that defiant tone? You're supposed to be under my control now. Say, you're the embodiment of light from your planet, right? Why, yes, I am. So in a way, the planet Star Kakosa is also you, right? That's very fair. Also, I'm here because it's fun, so thank you for the entertainment. Hell yeah, I got you. 
I'm glad that you find me entertaining. <laughs> um, on Wednesdays, I usually play Overwatch, at least until I find a new game to play with my friend. Um, and then other than that, I do have a list of games that I want to play on stream. Um, it's just a matter of doing them. Well, yes, but what could you possibly mean by asking that? It means I'm gonna close the fucking curtain. It means I just figured out a way to get the smooches that you promised me, even if it means I'm taking this whole planet with me. In the event that stage lights fail mid-play, perform this ritual to bring Carcosa closer to your current location. Only use this in a case of emergency and only cast it once. Cast this. Hey, you're only supposed to cast that once. Carcosa is close enough. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> what are you doing casting that spell repeatedly like that? Wait, you're doing the planet for two smooches? I am. She's gonna kill me anyway. This is the terrible ending. That spell only brings Carcosa within a dangerous distance to the Earth. But why do something so pointless? <laughs> I'm not even down bad for her. I didn't expect it to go like this. If you keep casting it, Carcosa will move closer and closer to Earth. Don't tell me. Are you trying to smooch my planet itself? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna smooch your planet! Heavens below, you're serious? Come now, we can be reasonable about this. I'm gonna fucking smooch the planet. If you Carcosa into the earth, it'll be an extinction level event for humanity. Right, I'll get my smooch. Oh, smooches. every member of my court that I worked so hard to steal from Lynetta. There's no need to do anything drastic. You'll die instantly. Lynetta, by the way, is the girl that I actually like. <laughs> Uh, dying once or twice is a small price to pay for smooches. Wait! Don't you like being with me? No. Think back to all the good Absolutely times we not. had on our date. Better than bleeding out. True facts. At least it'll be quick. That was short. Uh, please? You've met with a terrible end, haven't you? Okay, I... <laughs> when I was expecting a terrible end, I thought I was gonna, like, die. Like, clearly I died. Clearly. But, like, I expected to, like... Yeah, I feel like the bad ending wasn't too bad. It wasn't. Uh, at all. I'm down. I'm good with this. <laughs> Let's see. I am looking at a guide, because I'm dumb smart. Dumb smart? I'm not good at this. Okay. Um. So, in order to get sucker for love, first date. We got to sm smooch planet and die painlessly, painlessly after summoning a demon. Win-win. Absolutely. Okay, so I need to get another secret before I can do chapter three. Um, and that involves doing her story again. Which I really... I'm gonna send myself this guide for uh, when I have the brain power to deal with this woman again. <laughs> um, for love. First date. And I think I'm gonna end my stream for now. Um, trying to think. So I never commit to a uh, schedule. I do have a Discord if you want to hop in the Discord. Um, 
I don't post a schedule there either just because I suck at sticking to a schedule. Um, but you can always ask there, like, hey, how are you feeling today? Do you think you're going to stream? And I might be like, maybe. <laughs> um, perhaps on Saturday or Sunday I might stream. Um, if not, at the very least, I'll be here Wednesday. <laughs> As I choke on my spit. <coughs> oh my god, hello. The RB dying. Um let me see if there is anybody I would like to raid out to real quick. If y'all wanna come with me somewhere. Let me see. Let's see who's real. That's not the buttons I wanted to press. Um, okay. I'm gonna rate us out to Sin. I know we have like a very small viewership right now, but um, that's fine. I know he appreciates any stream that we throw. Um, but so this, um, uh, English, <laughs> Sensible, Sin, um, is one of my favorite streamers. Personally, uh, he has chill vibes. He is playing Mario, Mario 64. Um, but he is like one of my favorite hangout and vibe streamers. Um, so I hope you enjoy and I will see you over there. Let me click on his stream because I'm probably going to get hit with an ad. And it's sure, uh, yeah, it's awkward when you <laughs> hop into a raid and you're stuck as the raider in an ad. So we're gonna sit here for like 18 seconds. All right. <laughs> but yeah, 2B, I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate the follow. I appreciate the sub. And I hope you enjoy Sensible. And all right, six seconds. I'll count down. <laughs> Is it gonna, all right, no. All right, okay, here we go. I don't have a written message. Just say whatever you want. <laughs> See you later. Adios. Look, I did it once, I can do it again. Man, I should have been over with this level. I should have been over with this. Should have been good. <laughs>